I would like to start off with this video saying I am sorry. I am sorry to the black community. Now, some of you may have read the title of this video and just heard what I said and have no idea what's going on. So I would like to explain why I am sorry. Now, a lot of you who are watching may know me from my moral oral reaction videos or my Blark and Son reaction videos, but some of you may also know me from my PJ shorts and my Boondock shorts. Now, in a lot of those shorts, I say a lot of, a lot of very questionable things. And I wanted to make this video not only apologizing to the black community, but also explaining why I said the things that I said in my PJ shorts and my boondock shorts. In those shorts, I was doing something called rage baiting. If you don't know what rage baiting is, basically it's when someone says something very questionable or really stupid on a video or on a post to make viewers or readers basically comment on that video or post to create engagement. Now, many of you may not know, the number one thing YouTube and sites like Twitter value is engagement, especially YouTube shorts. Engagement is everything from getting comments on videos, likes on videos, shares. All of those things basically is what determines if your short or video will be in the YouTube algorithm. And as a lot of you may know, my PJ shorts and my boondock shorts, a lot of them did very, very well. That's because I was saying a lot of stupid things to get reactions out of people. Now, the things that I was saying in those shorts was essentially making fun of the lower class black community. For example, in the show called The PJs, it takes place in the projects and the show itself makes a lot of stereotypical jokes about black people. Now, what I'm currently showing you is a Twitter post from February 16th, 2024. And as you can see, it's one of my shorts. And in these comments, you basically have people roasting me and rightfully so for saying these really stupid things in these videos. And I basically wanted to make this video to not only say sorry, but to also kind of correct people. When I was making those videos, I was still blowing up. I was getting a lot of subscribers every day. And essentially I wanted to take advantage of the YouTube's algorithm by getting as much interaction as possible on my shorts by rage baiting. However, what I want to correct in this video is that a lot of people were falsely accusing me. A lot of people were commenting that I was privileged and that I needed to experience the real world. While I don't want to really make this about me, I don't want anyone's pity in any way, shape, or form, I grew up in some of the worst parts of Mexico when I was younger. And when I mean bad, I mean pretty bad. Our houses didn't have walls like this. From what my parents have told me, my entertainment when I was younger was chasing around lizards. Now, I'm not trying to come out here and say I'm hot shit and that I've gone through the worst of the worst because I haven't, but I've been poor all my life. Now, I won't go into every single little detail about my bring up, about my childhood and everything I had to go through. It's because of you guys supporting my videos is why I'm able to even afford nice things at all. I'm not saying I'm rich, but at the same time, I'm not getting overdraft fees every time I have to pay a bill. So again, I understand why people said the things that they said because I made myself seem like a privileged asshole in those shorts. So because of all of this, I have taken down all of my PJ shorts and all of my boondock shorts. The full videos themselves are still up because obviously in the full videos, I wasn't saying anything that outlandish because again, the shorts were just meant to bring people into the channel. Now, obviously I haven't made a short like that in quite a while. And at the end of the day, I probably could have just not made this video and taken down the shorts and no one would have cared, but I care. The only reason why I ever wanted to become a YouTuber is to make people happy and saying things like I wanted to go to the projects for a vacation. While it might be funny to some people, it's just wrong to say. There are people in the projects who are trying to get out of the projects. So again, I am sorry, but in lighter news, I am back from my vacation. So I will be making YouTube videos and shorts regularly. I will also be live streaming on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. And yeah, have a good rest of your day.